once again to Wealth Academy Educational Series. I'm Adam Koo. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the three ways to make money from the stock market. So before we carry on, read the disclaimer. Once you understand the risks, let's carry on to the next slide. So there are basically three ways to profit from the stock market. The first is through capital appreciation. The second is through collecting dividends. And the third is through short selling profits. Let's look at the first one. So the first way to make money is really through capital appreciation or by going long and generating profits by going long. Now, what does that mean? So capital appreciation is the profit you get when you sell the stock at a higher price than the price that you bought it at. And this is also known as going long. So for example, if you look at a stock like Apple and you anticipate that the price is going to go up because of fundamental or technical reasons, you would like to enter a long trade. So you buy to open at, say, for example, $320. So when you buy, it becomes a debit in your account because money goes out. And when the price goes up to your intended target profit or intended time frame, or when you find that the trend has gone far enough, it's going to reverse, it's reversing down, you will sell to close the position. In this case, selling to close at $502. So when you sell, it becomes a credit. So you debit 320, you credit 502, you make a profit of $182. So once again, we call this going long. So for example, as professionals, we never say that we are buying Apple. We are buying Facebook. We say we're going long on Apple, or we're going long on Facebook. And going long basically means that we buy in anticipation of the price going higher. So what do we go long on? We tend to go long or we tend to buy stocks that have a high probability of price appreciation. These are stocks of fundamentally really strong companies, the strongest earnings and sales growth, strong cash flow, that are more importantly on a very clear uptrend. Now, the greatest and fastest price appreciation comes from growth companies, companies that are growing at double-digit returns, 20, 30, 40% a year. So we can go long for the long term. People like Warren Buffett, they buy and hold for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. But anything more than a 3-year long is known as a long-term investment in my book. So for example, if you looked at, looked at Apple for the last uh, 4 years, if you had bought Apple over there and you just held it for 3 to 5 years through the ups and downs, that's a long-term investment. We can also take medium-term investments where we only enter during the beginning of an uptrend and we exit when the trend reverses. So we buy there, we sell there, we buy there, we sell there, we buy there, we sell there, we buy there, we sell there. So medium-term investments typically take between six months to uh, three years because that's normally how long a medium-term trend lasts. Finally, my favorite approach is to do very short-term trades. So short-term trading means that you basically you zoom in there and you buy over here and you sell over there, all right? Or you simply just buy here and you sell there and you get in and out very quickly within less than three months. And that's the fastest way to generate profits by using leverage. So anything less than three months is a short-term trade. For example, I do swing trading. In swing trading, we enter and exit the market within a week or even less. Uh, some people do day trading, where they buy and sell within that same day. We call that intraday trading. Now, I don't do that because uh, it takes up too much time, but you can also make a lot of money from that as well. The second way to make money from the stock market is through collecting dividends. Now, obviously, if you want to collect dividends, the kind of companies you buy are very different from the kind of companies you buy when you're looking for capital appreciation. Why? See, companies that go up very fast, they are growth companies. And growth companies like Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, they do not pay dividends. Because all the profits they make, they have to reinvest in the company. So you buy those companies not for dividends, for price appreciation. Companies that pay dividend are usually very um, slow-growing companies, mature companies. Um, so you don't see much price appreciation and you buy it simply to collect a share of their profits. 
So once again, these are companies that pay out a percentage of their profits as cash dividend to their shareholders one to four times a year. So this is really good for pure passive income. Again, high dividend paying companies are usually mature, low growth companies that are cash flow positive. So these are companies that are making money, but they've got no use to reinvest the money. They're not growing anymore. It's a sunset industry. Yeah? So they, they take the money and they return it to you as a shareholder. These income stocks are usually bought by investors who want to receive regular cash payouts, but do not mind low capital appreciation. In other words, the share price is not going to go anywhere. It's going to go sideways for years and years or just go up a little bit. They don't care. They're just in it for the dividends. Now, a good dividend-paying company should have a dividend yield of at least 5%, with consistently increasing dividends per share. And this is a simple formula to calculate dividend yield. It's your annual dividend that you earn per share divided by the current share price. So for example, you pay $20 to buy the share and you're paid an average of about $2 a year in dividends. And that's a 10% yield, for example. Finally, my favorite, the third way to make money for the market is by short selling and generating short selling profits. Short selling profits are the profits you receive by selling a stock at a higher price and buying it back at a lower price. So many people only know how to make money for, in good companies when the price goes up, but we can make just as much money when the price goes down. We can also make money in lousy companies. So for example, if you look at a company like Michael Kors, it's on a downtrend. Their sales are dropping, their profits margins are dropping, the company is losing market share. So highly likely the price is gonna go down. How do you make money from it? Well. What you do is you sell it at the higher price before it goes down. So we sell it at $95. So when you sell, you get a credit in your account. Now again, how do you sell something you don't own? Basically what we do is we borrow shares from the broker. In our advanced courses, we teach you how to do that. You borrow shares from the broker within a couple of seconds and you take those shares and you sell it, you get a credit. Now of course you can't take the $95 because it's not yours yet because you have to return the shares to the broker because you borrowed it from the broker. So how do you return it if you have sold the shares? Right? You have to buy the shares back. So you wait for the price to go all the way down to say $60 and you buy the shares back. So when you buy it back, it's a debit. But you have a credit of $95. So you take $60 to buy the shares back, you still have a net profit of $35. Ta-da! You're making money. All right, so again, this is known as going short. So basically, we go short on stocks that have a high probability of falling in price. Remember, for every one good company that goes up, there are 10 companies that go down. In fact, it's easier to make money going short than going long because there are more lousy companies out there, right? So these are stocks of fundamentally weak companies that are on, are on a downtrend. So again, how does it work? Your broker borrows the shares on your behalf from other investors who lend their shares out. All this is done within a couple of seconds, in fact, it's automated. You then sell the borrowed shares. Subsequently, you have to buy the shares back at a lower price to return to the lender. Of course, you have to pay a borrowing fee for borrowing the shares. And the borrowing fee is anywhere from 0.1 to 5% per year charge on a daily basis. So it's very insignificant based on the profits that we can make. So that concludes our three ways to make money from the stock market. Click here for more videos. This is Adam Koo signing off.